Hi everyone. Welcome to the Breaching for the Moon YouTube channel. China launched the Tiangong Space Station, first module named Tiahe, in 2021 and completed construction of the three-module spacecraft in November of 2022. Since completion, the Tiangong Space Station has been occupied with a Takanak crew of three and China plans to occupy the Tiagong Space Station for the next 10 years. Crews are scheduled for six months, and recently there was a crew change. Now the first phase of the Tiagong Space Station has been completed, China recently made two major announcements regarding the future of their Tiagong Space Station. In the first announcement, China stated it's planning to expand its Tiagong Space Station with several multifunctional modules to enhance its capabilities. The initial three-module space station is in a modular design which can easily be expanded to six modules. An enhanced Tiagong space station would enable more taconauts to occupy the space station and allow for more research to be conducted simultaneously. Once expanded, the Tiagong Space Station will host six stocking ports and turn the T-shaped Tiagong into a cross-shaped configuration. With the added ports, more visiting spacecraft will be able to dock at the Tiagong. The larger space station will allow for more research while providing redundancy for safety reasons. The larger Tiagong Space Station will also allow commercial spacecraft with paying customers to dock and visit the Tiagong Space Station. China also announced that it will soon begin training foreign astronauts to join missions to the Tiagong Space Station. It appears as if China is expanding its space program to take on a new role to achieve its political and diplomatic goals. China stated that multiple countries have requested involvement with their Tiagong Space Station research projects. However, NASA will not be one of China's partners as a law passed by Congress in 2010, the Wolf Amendment, prohibits NASA from collaborating with China on space projects. The European Space Agency recently stated that it no longer has plans to send European astronauts to the newly completed Chinese space station meaning that the ESA, European Space Agency, is no longer committed to working with China in human space flight in the near future. Here's a short video clip from CGTN regarding China's training of foreign astronauts to live and work on the Tiagong Space Station.我们即将开始啊，准备选拔国际的航天员，到我们空间站上去，一起来联合开展科学实验等等。来到到中国的空间站，用中国的飞船啊上太空，对中国的飞行器要进行熟悉。这方面的工作呢，可能只能等到到了